How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Pacific Rim Uprising video. Go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. And let's get right into it. So today we're going to go over um, some kaiju. Uh, I was doing a little bit of research and you know I kind of wanted to know, really wanted to know what is kaiju? Like what, you know, where does it, where does it even come from? Not beyond just the um, more in depth, a quick search. It actually has, you know, of course, some Japanese uh, origins. Kaiju are originally referred to monsters from ancient Japanese legend before, you know, the arrival of writing. Uh, but there are no traditional depictions of kaiju or kaiju like creatures in Japanese folklore, but rather, origins of kaiju are found in film. Godzilla is regarded as the first kaiju film and was released in 1954. Tomoyuki Tanaka, a producer of Toho Studios in Tokyo, needed a film to release after his previous project was halted and upon seeing how well American Hollywood giant monster movie genre films, King Kong and the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms um, had done in box offices of Japan, as well as personally being a fan of the films, uh, Tanaka set out to make a new movie based uh, on those American giant monster movies and created Godzilla. Tanaka aimed to combine Hollywood giant monster movies with the uh, re-emerged Japanese fears of atomic weapons which came about due to the Diago Maru fishing boat incident. So he put a team together and you know created the concept of radioactive giant creature emerging from the depths of the ocean which would become the iconic uh, monster Godzilla. Godzilla was initially met with commercial success in Japan, inspiring an entire genre that uh, became known as kaiju movies. So that's, you know, where the term kaiju comes from. A lot of people kind of know that, but many people who just watch the movie, you know, know that they're called kaiju, but don't really understand why, you know, and what's going on with that. You know, they kind of allude to it, you know, in the movies. And so, you know, some people catch on to it, some people don't. So I kind of thought that was interesting. I wanted to share that. It loosely translates to strange beast, a science fiction and fantasy giant creature that often takes the role of either antagonist, protagonist, or a force of nature, like Godzilla. So the kaiju of Pacific Rim and Pacific Rim Uprising vary in sizes. Uh, one of the smaller ones from the uh, one of the original uh, films is, I think it's called. I'm, I'm going to butcher these names. They're 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 hard. I'm sorry. You know. I mean, I can't even say some dinosaurs names right. And I like dinosaurs, so you know, go figure. Otaichi, um, yeah, this guy right here, his height is over 207 feet tall. He's a little taller than Godzilla. Godzilla stands at about 87. Um, yeah, so roughly. I mean, there's been different Godzillas, but whatever. You know, the average height for a Godzilla is around 100 feet tall. This guy's at 27, so it's already doubled. And that's one of the smaller ones. You go up to the leatherback what 261 that's that's pretty it's that's, that's getting up there i mean they're not huge increases they're not doubling like they did in godzilla but it's a it's a big monster you know what i'm saying um the knife head and trespasser they are about 300 to 315 that's how high they are up in the air there's skyscrapers that don't get that high that's that's crazy uh raiju is 358 skunner is 441 and uh Slatern or Slatern, you know, depending on who you talk to, is almost 600 foot tall, standing at 596. These things are huge, and effectively, that's what makes them kaiju, right? So that's where the term comes from. That's why it's called what it's called. And so, you know, maybe if you was kind of clueless before, now you can, you know, follow along with the movies and kind of know what they're talking about. Now, as far as the uh, the new kaiju in um, Pacific Rim Uprising, they've come back with a vengeance and and they are bigger yeah they're 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 bigger than 600 foot uh they they were already almost towering over skyscrapers now they do i mean they smash skyscrapers like it's like it's nothing it takes teams of uh you know of i just i'm just gonna call them gundams i know they have specific names but i don't care they're like gundams they're straight gundam ripoffs i love it I'm not knocking them for it. I love Gundams, so that's what they are. They're Gundams. It takes teams of Gundams to take down one or two of these monsters, and they just wreak havoc. And yes, they're bigger. They're so much bigger. It's it's kind of scary. Um, so yeah, that that's that's why they're called kaiju. Um, they're definitely mega kaiju in this next movie. This you know the uprising. It's it's definitely an uprising. They're coming back with a vengeance, and it's pretty rough. So yeah. So that's that's all I got for you guys today. Um, 
I know it's been kind of a quick video, but I just wanted to throw all these guys up here and let you see why they're called kaiju and you know what is the origins of kaiju and where it came from and why it's called what it's called. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you appreciate it. Smack that like button. And uh, I hope you subscribe if it's your first time to the channel, and I'll see you next time.